Good take. afternoon now. We'll uh, start taking questions. Eric Engels, go ahead. Hi, Dom. It's good to see you. I hope you're feeling well, and congratulations on getting to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, what was the last week of your life like, and who helped you get through it the most? Obviously, my, my, my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, uh, we've been uh, locked down here for, for a week now. Uh, and uh, obviously, having the team, uh, you know, going through that round and talking with the coaches, the players, uh, you know, it's easier that way, for sure. Marc-Antoine Godin. Bonjour, Dominique. Um... Félicitations pour votre présence en finale. Euh, J'avais une question spécifique par rapport euh, aux unités spéciales, par rapport à votre infériorité numérique qui fonctionne extrêmement bien en ce moment. Mais on sait que le Lightning va chercher beaucoup de buts avec son attaque à 5. Euh, Est-ce que, est que tu penses que votre meilleure chance de l'emporter, c'est vraiment en, en continuant de, 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 le, le, votre, un niveau de brio égal en infériorité numérique ou c'est en réduisant au minimum le nombre de pénalités que, que vous allez pouvoir récolter ou euh, écoper quand on t'aime pas? Lequel des deux est le plus euh, envisageable, dans le fond? Ben, il faut réduire au, au maximum le nombre de pénalités, c'est certain. Euh, une équipe comme ça, si tu leur donnes beaucoup de répétitions, ils vont, euh, ils vont, ils vont sentir mieux, ils vont trouver des solutions peut-être. Donc, il euh, faut essayer de, de garder ça au minimum. Puis, quand on en a des, des pénalités à, à tuer, ben, s'assurer que qu'on qu le fait bien, mais qu'on ne donne pas une opportunité après euh, rapidement. Donc, euh, ça fait, euh, je te dirais que la recette euh, fait partie des, euh, des, deux, des deux choses que tu as dit. Luc Chalina. Merci Sam. Bon après-midi, Dominique. C'était quoi le feeling qu'Arthur que a, a compté le but gagnant en prolongation qui t'a habité chez vous dans ton salon? Tu sais, tu as, as monté ce club-là, tu l'as préparé. Tu n'es pas sur place pour le partager. Ça va avoir des émotions euh, plus spéciales. Non, mais très content. Très content pour, euh, un, pour nos joueurs. Euh, on se bat depuis, euh, depuis longtemps pour, pour arriver jusque-là. Et puis, euh, donc, très heureux. Évidemment, c'est certain que j'aurais aimé ça être sur place, euh, célébrer avec, euh, avec tout le monde. Mais on, on a d'autres choses en, en vue pour la prochaine ronde, donc euh, la célébration, c'est celle-là qu'on veut avoir, là, la, la plus grosse à la fin. Stu Cowan. Hey, Dom, happy to see you looking well there. Um, can you describe what it's like for you watching the games on TV? Are you watching by yourself or with your girlfriend? Uh, can you sit still or are you sort of pacing around? Uh, and also, what's the most satisfying part for you to see the players now playing the system you worked so hard to put into place, I guess, close to perfection? No, watching with uh, my girlfriend, obviously. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty calm uh, sitting down and watching uh, the way we play and what's going on and, and uh, thinking about little things that maybe we can Uh, do better or what we are doing good to uh, keep going and uh, after a period uh, the coaches gave me a call and we just talked for a minute or two and and uh, just like we do uh, every uh, every time we go back to the office um, yeah the way we play I mean I think um, you know, we we talked about it during the year um, we didn't have much practice time we We, we saw some good, uh, some really good things at, at some point in time, uh, like, uh, you know, our team playing uh, some really so good hockey. And at one point, uh, we hit that, uh, that storm after COVID break uh, with the injuries and everything. And so having those practices before we started the playoff, um, and then from there, uh, you know, we faced adversity again, but... Um, We, we got together and, and, and raised our game. And from there, you can see the confidence of our team uh, raising. Um, I think right now, I, I feel that our, our guys are not, uh, they're not thinking. They're just uh, uh, executing. They're just playing. Um, that's what we wanted to create. 
is uh, is uh, you know the, the things to become just automatic and just um, b- become second nature and I, um, I really enjoy watching it and and uh, seeing the, the, the group uh, playing that way together. Josh Clipperton. Hey Dom, um, Tampa's a team that's had a lot of heartbreak, a lot of battle scars. Uh, they finally broke through last year. What stood out to you about how they've gone about their business, especially the last 16 months? Yeah, for sure. They, you know, when we talk about uh, adversity, they, they faced adversity. They went through some ups and downs, uh, learned from it. And, uh, you know, last year they won. There's, uh, there's a reason why. And they're back in the final this year. So uh, it's going to be a, a, a tough challenge for us. That's, uh, that's for sure. But, you know, any final uh, is supposed to be that way. And uh, we'll be ready to go on, uh, on game one. Jean-François Chaumont. Merci, Sam. Salut, Dominique. Deux petites questions en, en une pour toi. La première, juste une question de logistique. Brendan Gallagher nous disait qu'il s'attendait à, à te revoir derrière le banc de l'équipe pour le troisième match. Euh, si c'est le cas, j'imagine que c'est, on parle bel et bien d'une quarantaine de 14 jours. Puis à quel point, de l'extérieur, tu es fier du travail de Luke Richardson qui a réussi à garder la, la même identité de l'équipe, même si toi, tu n'es pas là derrière le banc? Euh, oui, c'est euh, joyeux de retour pour le match numéro 3. Euh... On a tout le temps travaillé ensemble, donc euh, puis, euh, c'est ce qu'on continue à faire. Donc avec euh, Luke, euh, je l'ai parlé, c'est un, c'est un gars d'équipe, c'est, un, c'est, un, c'est, c'est le genre de coéquipier que tu veux avoir euh, aux côtés de toi euh, pour euh, faire face à, à n'importe quel défi. Puis euh, euh, tout le monde joue son rôle, tout le monde euh, travaille ensemble. Puis euh, ce qu'on fait aujourd'hui, on prépare l'équipe euh, de la même façon qu'on l'a qu'on l'a préparé avant les autres séries. C'est juste que euh, je le fais par euh, vidéo comme ça avec les joueurs. Et puis, euh, le reste, euh, euh, Luke, euh, Alex, euh, Berkey, euh, les gars ont, ont pris euh, un, un rôle différent pour, euh, pour quelques matchs. Puis, euh, on continue à avancer là-dedans. Donc, euh, euh, non, c'est euh, nos succès, c'est un travail d'équipe. Arpin Basu. Hey Dom, good to see you. You're doing you're doing well, I suppose. I don't know. You, you haven't yeah, really mentioned it, well. but okay, good. Um, just about your interaction with everyone. Um, you know, you mentioned doing a one or two minutes between periods with the coaching staff. Is that weird? Like was seeing what you see on TV and compared to what you're able to watch live, is it actually is it better in some ways? And and how have you Have you been able to, I know you like to talk to each of your guys every day for a little bit. Have you, do, have you done that at all? Have you reached out to guys individually to talk to them about certain things? How are you, how are you handling that? Uh, obviously that's a, the, the toughest part right there is uh, not, uh, you know, not being uh, close to the guys or being able to just have a little chat like that. Uh, sometimes a few guys text me, call me, Uh, to see how I'm doing in, uh, in between games and t- uh, things like that. Uh, to watch the game on TV, obviously, it's a different uh, point of view. Uh, it's like I'm doing video uh, live. So uh, I, I get to see the replay. I get to see uh, uh, different angles. So, um, you know, uh, I'm doing the, the best I can right now with uh, what I can do and trying to help the guys. Hey, Dom, can you hear me? Yep. Sorry about that. Um, the job that your coaching staff has done, stepping in in the middle of such a pressure cooker situation, some of them running the bench uh, for the first time, uh, some of them running the defense for the first time. Can you describe how mammoth a task that would have been for them and the and your thoughts on the job that you think that they've done? Oh, great job. And I think it's, uh, it's um, you know, we, we, we've worked together together. Uh, As a group, um, you know, uh, we always uh, 
talk about every situation. Uh, and it's been like that uh, you no know, every day. Uh, now I, I needed to step back uh, and the, uh, they just uh, took that and, and kept moving forward. And I think um, the same uh, applies to our, our players. I think they, um, you know, right now they're uh, they're dialed in. They are uh, they're really playing uh, the way we want to be playing, um, and they're um, they're helping. They're helping on that side for sure because, you know, they're uh, they're so sharp that uh, it makes uh, everything easier. Hi, Dom. Um Earlier on, Corey Perry was talking about not taking this opportunity for granted and enjoying the moment and so forth. And for you personally, going through what you have for the last week and a half now, does that elevate your appreciation for the the, the playoff run that you've been able to enjoy with your club? I just, just can't wait to come back. Um, I'll appreciate everything after when we're done. Uh, especially if we win. Yeah, Dom, thanks for doing this. Uh, on on the on the heels of that, I understand. Um, you know, um, you're you're going to be back for game three. I mean, how are you? Like a little kid at Christmas. Waiting to get waiting to get back there. I mean, uh, you know how how are you xing off the days on the calendar. How how much anticipation do you have for that? <laughs> a lot. I mean, uh, no, I'm not putting X's, but uh, I'm not trying to uh, look at the calendar too uh, too often. It's like uh, watching your watch, um, looking at your watch too often. It's it looks like uh, time do doesn't go by. Um, so trying to, um, be, uh, as busy as I can and, and watch a lot of video and help the guys get ready. Thanks for your time, coach. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.